Do you think if she had both hands on the steering wheel and was ready to react for that situation, she may have not ended up on the other side of the bridge? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Listen, shout out to my man, Max, right here. And I, I, I have nothing against Max. He, he has some good content on TikTok. A lot of interesting things about Walmart. He is a Walmart driver. Shout out to him for coming on to the platform back in the day. We had a conversation. But right now, this is his broad opinion. And I'm not saying that he's saying anything because this is all coming out of his mouth. After watching the driver facing camera, does that driver look like she's prepared to win the day? Is her head on a swivel? Or does she look like she's in a lackadaisical mood with a lot of traffic around her? Do you think if she had both hands on the steering wheel and was ready to react for that situation, she may have not ended up on the other side of the bridge? Regardless of whether it was the car's fault or not, was she prepared for anything that came her way? And the same thing goes for all you drivers with your feet up on the dash, looking like you're ready to practice for an OBGYN appointment. Get yourself prepared. Never be too lackadaisical behind the wheel. Always be prepared for what may come your way. And I know he's just reacting to the situation that happened to that young lady on the bridge. But I'm here to tell you, sir, I'm here to tell you, I, I know what you're saying. I agree with some of what you say. I, I'm just here to agree to disagree with you. And I'm just here to say that I, I don't think anybody could be prepared for that situation that that young lady just underwent. I, I don't think you can mentally, physically, pre-trippy, anything to be prepared for what happened to her. That car, came out of nowhere out of nowhere and i know you said looking at the dash cam footage well if you looked at the dash cam footage sir you would have seen that car swerve out of nowhere she didn't even have time to react i don't even think she had time to blink let alone be prepared for that situation sir and she got a lot of people in your comment session and I, i'll just leave that alone right there but i'm just saying i wasn't even gonna uh, make a video I, I i did a couple of videos on this situation already i think i got like maybe two or three of them up so far but i'm glad she was all right i'm glad that god was there to to help her out of her situation it's static to the fact that she's here to tell the story but sir i i don't know that you could be prepared for anything anything liable to happen out here and i get you i understand you we, we gotta be focused we gotta keep our head on the swivel we gotta see what's on our left on our right and what's in front of us at all times but that situation right there was like a blink of an eye situation and i honestly don't think she could get prepared for it you you can't be prepared for a situation like that you're driving you, you're on a narrow bridge and a car just woof and it was the car's fault so again sir i ask you how do you get prepared for stuff like that i've been 10 years in the game and the stuff that i seen stuff that i encountered it wasn't like i woke up that morning and say let me prepare for an accident today you don't do that you go outside you pre-trip you make sure that your truck is on point me i don't know about anybody else i say a little prayer for the day and then i get on the road and just make sure that i'm doing what i need to do safe but to actually prepare for something like that that happened to her you 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 can't sir for the drivers that do be sitting with their legs up on the dashboard, out the window, up on the cut, I, I find that so, so hilarious. These modern day truck drivers try to figure out the ways of getting comfortable on a long ride. I get it, but you still got to be the professional safe driver. And driving with your foot out the window or your foot up on the dashboard is not that. It is not that. I agree with Max on that part right there. You need to be prepared for any and everything that do come your way. 
but again Matt, like i said for the situation that happened to her i don't think you could be prepared for it but can you be prepared by not driving down the highway with your feet up on the dashboard oh hell yeah no doubt most definitely oh don't don't, don't do that you just make all us drivers look bad bro but again i'm not here to say that what this man is saying is bad this is his own opinion his own thought process maybe maybe if he was in that situation he'll probably think different you know what i'm saying but it is what it is drivers just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, be safe be safe be aware be non-distracted be that truck driver that has the conscience of trying to get back home to your family